In this digital age, being an influencer is easier than ever. With the click of a like, working with renowned and up-and-coming brands, financial freedom and stardom from international recognition can change your life overnight. But with growing competition, burnout, unequal pay, and a community that can tear you down as quickly as they brought you up is no easy feat. Hey B-Squad, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about if being an influencer in Jamaica in 2022 is worth it. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bikana. I create lifestyle, travel, and the occasional real estate videos in Jamaica. Sometimes I leave the country and then other times I come right back. So you're seeing me in this beautiful location. I have a travel content creator staycation workcation video coming up that shows some more behind the scenes of what it's like being a content creator in Jamaica so definitely stay tuned for that when it is up I will put it down in the description box so yeah let's get on into it so this video is about is being a influencer in Jamaica in 2022 worth it I'm going to break down several stuff, so I'm just going to tell you what those are now and they'll also be sectioned off or time stamped in the video. So if you want to skip to anything or if you want to come back, you can check the description box and it will all be time stamped. So we're going to talk about working with brands, networking with other creators, the look that you have, getting paid, creating content, and burnout. So the first one is working with brands. So one thing you want to know, in Jamaica, it is very hard to work with brands. You will have some brands that will reach out to you, especially some smaller brands, because I can't lie, I've had the opportunity to work with some smaller owned business in Jamaica, and they are amazing. But when you want to work with some big, big name brands, just know that it does take a while, and that has nothing to do with you as a creator want to talk to you guys about nepotism and brands that don't have good marketing strategies or brand identity and this this you're, you're gonna I don't know if you pre certain things that's going on but maybe when I touch on it you'll you'll get to understand so nepotism I'm gonna actually pop up the definition of nepotism right on the screen so it's basically when you know people then you're more likely to get that connection, you're going to get that links. And people in Jamaica say it all the time that links run Jamaica. So nepotism is basically that statement, links run Jamaica. And also like if you have rich parents, then you're more likely to gonna get the links that your parents have. If you have rich friends, they're more likely to give you the links that they have. As well as, even if they're not rich, but they're well-connected friends, then you are more likely to get the connection from that friend versus someone that maybe has been putting in the work or someone who fits the role better. And I, I know, not even just in content creating, but you've definitely experienced nepotism across the board in all markets. So brands tend to do that. They tend to know someone or see someone a lot and are more willing to give that person the contract even if it's over and over and over and over and they have nothing to do with the brand. So that falls into brand identity and their marketing strategies. I know some food brands that would do well with a lot of the cooking content creators on YouTube because if you go and search up, you'll see a lot of chefs on YouTube because guys I'm not the best chef so I will look up some cooking videos and to my surprise like these people are actually in Jamaica in their kitchen showing you and they have the views they have the the, the numbers the comments the likes like their engagement is ridiculous but I never see them working with big, big known um, household cooking brands in Jamaica it's honestly very very sad so my thing is some of these brands don't really understand, or they might and, and they might not care, but they don't really understand that this person would suit their their um, their marketing strategies the best. So don't be hurt about that. Working with brands can be very hard. I think it's definitely a them problem. It's not a you problem. It can feel very discouraging, especially when you're trying your best and your numbers are showing that you, you got it like that then 
is, is really sad but keep pushing the right brands are out there even if you have to work with international brands being in Jamaica and if you're watching this from another country even if you have to reach out and work with brands from other places do that build your portfolio keep reaching out and that's the next thing guys you have to reach out to brands even if they say no I'm not telling you to not reach out to these big name brands that only work with certain people reach out to them like my mom always says nothing beats um nothing beats a trial than a failure. You have to try, you have to reach out with them. To your surprise, a lot of people that are working with brands, they're the ones that pitch themselves. So I'll link some of my favorite videos on like how to do up your media kit, how to pitch yourself to these companies, and hopefully that can help you. So let's move on to networking, working with other creators, collabing, friend groups, and people that simply are users. So networking in Jamaica is another thing that's kind of hard, but I realize that I'm seeing a lot of creators at events. So if you want to do up yourself, you know, definitely work on your craft, work on your videos, work on your pictures, work on your content. And when you're solid in that, start going out, start mingling with people, start going to cafes, start going to the little party them, like start going to places, introduce yourself. Um, some of us don't bite. Some of us are really nice. I can't speak to everybody, but I know a, a good amount. So some of us really don't bites like come up to us especially if you have been working hard and you've been putting in the work and you're consistent like we don't bite we want to network we want to work with you too but you have to put in the work for yourself because nobody is gonna grow you you're not gonna ride the wave off somebody if you're not putting in the work yourself so that's one thing and that's with regards to working with creators you have to reach out you have to reach out but the most important thing is you have to be consistent with your own craft you know, it's it's not going to come. Like, I, I can't work with someone that you haven't posted a video in six months. What are you doing? Like, why, why do you want to work with me? Like, do you think doing the one video with me is going to get you some more views? Like, it's not, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't, I can tell people to go and check out such and such channel, but then if they go over to your channel and you're not doing anything, why are they going to subscribe? Why are they going to want to support you if there's nothing there? So you have to put in the work. The next thing too is friend groups. Don't be hurt if somebody doesn't want to work with you and they only want to work with their friends. That's just how it is. Some people, they just don't want to work with you and that's it. You can't, you can't get um, hurt feelings over that. And Jamaica is one of those places that have very clear friend groups. Like you, you're not blind. You know what I'm talking about. They have very, very clear friend groups. It's okay. Create your own friend group. Be your own friend. So don't don't get hurt feelings over certain things, especially when they're already, you know, in their clicks. And then be mindful of people that are using you. You might have a larger platform than me, and you might know this much better than me, but some people just want to use you. And that's the truth. Whether it be for your content, like your numbers, if you have like hundreds of thousands of views or subscribers or people just engage with you much better um be mindful that people want to ride that wave and that's all it is and then the next thing you might have things so you might not even be a consistent creator but you have you have stuff and people want that people people want all oh, people want to drain you some people are vampires so be very careful and I'm not saying that to discourage you from reaching out to people and I'm not saying that to discourage you from working with people because that's the next thing. Not everyone wants to use you and I know I just said that people people do but not everybody wants to use you. You can hang out with people. You, you don't even have to vlog. You don't have to pull out your phone. Nothing at all. Like it takes nothing to be genuine and just to link up and meet up with people like see if you vibe with that person. See, you can tell, I'm telling you, you can tell if someone is just a user. If you look really hard, you can definitely see the signs. And I think you should link up with people, like see who people are before you jump and say, oh, let's do a video. Or if someone's reaching out to you to say, oh, let's just do a video, let's do some TikToks, then, um no then think maybe think that they they might want something other than a genuine friendship so be very mindful of that but 
it doesn't hurt to also meet meet up with people you know what i mean i think you get what i'm saying <laughs> The next thing, piggybacking off of, you know, networking and friend groups and meeting up with people. Some people are very, uh, how would you put it? They only care about the looks. So if you look a certain way, then people will be geared towards you. Like if you are a pretty girl, like people are going to be geared towards you. If you are a handsome, like good looking man, People are gonna lean towards you and that's just the natural way of things. I guess people just like pretty things and that's just that's just how it is. But you gotta know that you have to carry yourself a certain way and I'm not saying that you have to buy the most expensive stuff, wear makeup if you don't wear makeup, do your hair, like wear wigs if you don't wear wigs, like you don't have to do that but you want to carry yourself a certain way. You want to even for yourself like you want to look good you want to feel good not even to follow trends but you want to be presentable even if you're going to work like a nine to five you would have to be presentable right so treat youtube content creating tiktok instagram as a nine to five you have to carry yourself with grace on that though colorism is very big in jamaica i think a lot of people get away with certain things or even blow up a lot quicker because let's say someone might be Asian or something or not to sh throw any shade at like any of the like white Jamaicans or people that come from Europe and now live in Jamaica or whatever they tend to get a lot more views for some reason like I don't know what it is like yes some of them have great content but light skin white skin they tend asian skin they tend to get a lot of views and that's not just for youtube that's for instagram that's for tiktok they get a lot more opportunities as well so don't let that discourage you there is a market for you you've seen other girlies and guys out here that don't fit in the stereotypical look that are making it big and that are conquering and you know getting a bunch of brand deals and doing what what has to be done because representation is huge so i just want to let you know that it does play a role don't think that you're tripping it plays a role wealth plays a role proximity to wealth proximity to celebrities plays a role because people fast i'm not gonna lie i like to go and snoop i like to look people fast so that's just the case and you have to know that guys if you already have a big tiktok well i, I can't speak for tiktok because that's already that's kind of working out now we're, we're watching how that is going but if you already had a big instagram if you were already a music musician or you already had a radio show or whatever it may be or a big actor if you pivot over to youtube the following from that community is obviously going to come with you so don't feel a way if someone comes from instagram that has let's say 300,000 followers and they're now on youtube and within a month they're at 100k that's actually not the norm that's not the norm that just shows that they have a really dedicated community but it's not the norm so don't feel bad if you've been on youtube for like four or five years and you're trying really hard and you can't get to like certain numbers yet it's not impossible you just have to be consistent and trust yourself and know that your stuff there is a market for people that wants to see what you're doing your stuff is gonna be big you can make it big so don't give up don't give up i'm just telling you as it is um yeah and i talked about proximity to celebrities we're just fast sometimes and we want to see that's the truth but what i can say though even though some people have wealth and proximity to celebrities that person like their persona their personality like you have to have something other than that that pulls you so i can know we can know the prime minister girl and i vlog every week on the prime minister i'm an uncle or something but if i'm a mean person or if i'm boring like people aren't gonna stick with me like people are gonna fall off you so i just want to let you know there's two sides to a coin so yes people will come and look but you have to keep them entertained that's that's just tea the next thing now is getting paid getting paid in jamaica is crazy people reach out to you and talk about oh i want to work with you i want you to do all these things on top of 10k excuse me 10k 10k jmd is not even it's not even like 70 dollars is it it's not even 80 dollars 80 us and i'm using that as a reference because it's it's you 
put it into perspective you can't even buy groceries with ten thousand dollars you can't even fill your tank and drive down the road and still have gas in a tank with ten thousand dollars some people are actually ridiculous and i feel like it's embarrassing and it's disrespectful like how could you want to work with someone that you you value that you know will bring value to your brand to your company to whatever you're trying to use them for and you're disrespecting them with that money you will never go to a marketing agency in jamaica and say i'm i want to pay you 10k to do work for me it will never happen no way so don't ever ever accept that amount of money especially some of them want you to do like three instagram posts two dedicated video one tiktok reel Put my name in the title put link in description disrespectful guys stand up for yourself do research you have youtube youtube is to your benefit look up stuff like search how to do this what is acceptable how much money should da 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 you have to do your research you have to understand that some of these things these look at change that's not money that's not money to them and you have to negotiate so leading on to that you have to ask for money if you don't ask you're not gonna get you have to ask for more high like if you if you really want 400 us dollars i'm only doing usd because most companies especially for ones that are working like with international brands or brands in america they will pay you in usd I, if you want 400 dollars girl ask for 700 dollars because they will try to ball you down if you want 200 000 jmd Ask for 300000 because they will try to ball you down. It's called negotiating. You have to learn how to negotiate. And you can search up on Google and YouTube how to negotiate as an influencer. You have to search up these things because this is your business. You have to do this for you. Think about you. And now let me get into it. With contracts, the contract is not in your favor. Stop getting a contract and being like, yep, that's it. The contract... I learned this from a very young age and I'm so grateful for my mom and all like everybody that had told me this these contracts are in the benefit of the company that's giving you the contract so if let's use an example if leaf tree yes I'm using them. <laughs> if leaf tree is giving you a contract leaf tree is gonna make sure that they're covering everything that has to do with them they do not care about you and I'm sorry they want to work with you but honestly if you can't do it, somebody else is going to do it. They don't care, but you have to speak up for yourself. You, you, Mrs. Mom, you, Mr. Sir, that's watching it. You have to, have to, have to speak up for yourself. This is about you, nobody else. Like, make sure you're going through that contract with a fine T. Some of these things are not acceptable that they're asking you to do. And I can't tell you, like what's unacceptable or, or you know what's not acceptable but you have to do the research you have to know that like are you willing to take that from a company especially for such amount of money absolutely ridiculous no and they know certain people would not and that's why they're coming to you so you got to understand that you mrs ma'am you mr sir you have to stand up for yourself so yeah and then the next thing create like if you don't have a bank account please get a bank account take it seriously um try to do research about adsense They're, it's ever changing and what i what i will say to you now might be different in the future so please always do your research about adsense always do your research about companies that pay because there's some websites where you can find out or some other creators will talk about what companies are paying them especially like hair companies so please do the research because it is ever changing do the research and see what companies are paying if you can find out and pivot off of that you know especially to like the work that you're putting in your equipment um the time it takes to edit the time it takes to record like you are the creative you are the makeup artist you are the the um the designer behind your outfit you have to get make sure you're getting make sure you're getting paid it is so serious and they got the money so don't be fooled do not be fooled okay let's get into creating content we're on the second to last part so editing editing you have to find your editing style 
everyone has a different type of editing style watch around see who you're inspired by don't copy people but you can definitely be inspired by someone and i'm not gonna lie to you like it it takes a while to get into like a certain editing style because you always have to see like what you don't like what you like what other people like like not other people but like your subscribers or your followers like what they gravitate towards and work on that but never lose yourself in editing don't ever try to copy someone's editing because that style you might like it but it might not actually fit you but you, you gotta see you gotta just test it out being creative and having your own style so it all falls back into that you have to test things out go out of your comfort zone like do some stuff that you you might not you know that you might not really feel comfortable with but once you really do get into the groove of what makes you you then everyone will gravitate towards you because you're being authentic you're being honest and creativity like what i might find creative you might not find creative so don't ever let anybody discourage you on anything that you're doing you just have to figure out what your style is put into work and again youtube google TikTok nowadays you can search up these things you can easily learn because sometimes people ask me about the drone there are so many drone um videos on youtube i'll link some of my favorite ones there's so many editing videos if i see a style that i like even if i'm watching a movie or a series i'm gonna try my best to like type out a description of how the style looks because i'm sure there's someone on youtube who did a video on how to do such and such edit it's not impossible use these things to your resource it's at your fingertips use them and now burnout guys i'm glad that i'm ending off on burnout burnout is rough i'm not lying to you burnout is rough like you might put in so much work and do all this type of stuff and then two weeks later after you've been consistent for months a couple weeks later you're tired you're not inspired you're depressed unmotivated you don't want to get up out of bed you don't want to do anything and it's normal it's very normal even if you go off youtube for like a month or two months or any other platform if you leave for such and such time always think about your mental health always think about your well-being what I can recommend, which I'm not doing often enough, like I'm even working on it, so it it does take a while to get to these stages, but it's not impossible. I would recommend to, if you can, batch create. It In the moment, it might seem hard and stressful, but it's to your benefit. It gives you time off. Like if you create like three Instagram posts, infi posts, and four reels, and ten TikToks, and six videos, you can literally have like a good couple weeks to just ease back and get into your creative spirit and not feeling like you have a deadline to do things or a deadline to post or getting up every day, put on makeup, get dressed to create a video. That can be very tiring and that can also drain you and lead you to be unmotivated and depressed. So if you can batch create, I feel like that's just it's gold it's gold and I'm working on it too guys like I'm not the best like sometimes I batch create for like a month and then I'm good for a couple of weeks and then sometimes I do like in the moment I'm like I want to create a video today I want to upload it tomorrow like that's fun too you honestly have to figure out what works best for you but if you do get burnout and you have to leave social media for your well-being then don't ever feel bad like do what you got to do because you got to survive at the end of this and people are always here especially when you create a great community people are here for you people are here to support you and they want the best for you i do i want the best for you so just know that so those are some of the things that I think. So with that being said, I definitely think it's still worth it being an influencer in 2022, especially in Jamaica, because there's so much that we have not seen. There's so many different perspectives. Like, I want to see what you're up to. I want to see your TikTok content. I want to see your Instagram reels and pictures. I want to see your YouTube videos. Like, my lived experience is not your lived experience. So... I think it's worth it. Just be you, be authentic, and, and be consistent, and don't give up, and you will get far in the social media content creator world. So keep watching. I inserted some snippets of, you know, anything to do with what I just said throughout the video, but if you want to see the full vlog style 
portion just keep watching the rest of the video let me know do you think is if it's worth it being a influencer in jamaica in 2022 if you're on youtube if you're on tiktok if you have um instagram let me know what's going on i would love to hear your opinions on everything that i touched on and it really means a lot to me your support and if you're new here please give the video a like please drop a comment and subscribe for more bye Actually creating a stop motion video for case of fine I think it's <laughs> I don't know it's so cool okay I can't I'm getting distracted and I need to hurry up so I keep on having to move the cases out of the frame but then to also make sure that these ones are correct and make sure that they're, that they're slowly coming I don't know why I'm laughing um, it's just so hilarious did I do this right? Let's see which one was the first one. Okay, yeah, I did do it right. Perfect. Oh my God, Bicon, I'm proud of you, girl. And then I did this one like with a bunch of collage videos. Bruh, what the heck? I need to start taking myself serious. What? And then I took these, um, I got these pictures from the website. Remember, my link is down below. I got these pictures. And this is an inspiration video, so this is why I got these pictures because I want to do a video like this and I'm going to silence. Oh, yeah. oops, oops. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Yay, that's it. Literally a 17 second clip that took me three, four minutes to film. Yeah, four minutes to film and about 10 minutes to edit, 17 seconds. Now what I'm gonna do is just make sure it's exactly the length that I want, make sure nothing else is glitchy and then figure out the music, put it on TikTok, create the description, figure out the hashtags, tag who I need to tag, then yeah. And that's that for the first video and that's kind of behind the scenes of creating like content for a brand. Yeah. a voiceover while you guys are here Ugh, I don't know what to say all right let's see let's see let's see I have to bring it all the way back to the beginning which is right there ah <sighs> all right let's go this will be my third time so take three no action no take three action <laughs> okay Good night, guys. Come with me to a round robin and bike show in Portmore. These guys are doing a lot. You already messed up. Ah, I'm nervous. You guys are here with me. I cannot. Oh my god. You know what? You're just gonna have to go on my TikTok and check it out because I am nervous. Good morning, guys. Hope you enjoyed the one and two clips that I showed you last night. Um, I just edited some footage for. A jewelry company that sent me a necklace so I'm gonna export it I would normally edit it in my phone but I feel like I want to edit it on the laptop so I'm preparing my laptop to do just that guys I'm going on a content creator trip tomorrow um and i'm making sure i have everything charged up packed away that needs to be packed so i don't forget anything so the first thing i have is my drone i'm gonna i think it's fully charged yeah it's already fully charged and i'm not gonna use it today got my controller which is already fully charged one thing i can say about this controller is that it never dies i don't know it just never dies for me i barely i charge it like once every four months crazy right the next thing is my GoPro because we will be in water tomorrow this is the hero 7 it's 
old but it works perfectly fine for me so if you want to check out the link I mean it's at the perfect price now because they have a 10 but like I said the hero 7 works great for me um it is fully charged I am just gonna double check that so I'm gonna take it out of its cage that's what they call this it's literally called a cage um this is what it's looking like I have an extra battery for that so making sure that's there as well I got my camera battery which I'm gonna just get this is what I'm using my camera so I'm just gonna make sure tonight it's fully charged green all the way I also make sure that I have my um, my this is for my drone but I can also use it to charge my GoPro because it's USB-C um so I make sure I have that and then that's really it I think I might walk with my tripod so I'm just gonna have to take it apart and uh, <sighs> the other things that I'm gonna pack I'm just gonna separate them and I'm gonna show you later tonight so I'll see you in a minute good morning guys so I am actually working on a video right now to go up right now I know I know <laughs> I know it was actually meant I was meant to start editing this from no I filmed this Saturday that's like this is probably one of the quickest turnarounds I'm ever doing I filmed this Saturday going no I filmed this Friday going into Saturday and yesterday which today's Sunday yesterday is Saturday yes um and i went on a creator sponsored trip with chukka caribbean so i'm extremely tired because i did the bar hopping with kyle and ella and um andre and then another one of kyle's friends i uh, cannot remember his name right now we did the bar hopping video i am turd okay and i didn't really sleep that long <sighs> but i was knocked out i'm not gonna lie so i'm editing let me turn this down i'm editing the video right now of yesterday while multitasking and editing the vlog i also uploaded a, a tiktok video of this vlog so i'm really trying to do a lot i'm on a time frame so i really need to get back into editing so i can export it and while it's uploading then i can get back to yesterday's activities for today if that makes any sense i just wanted to fill you in because i know this might be interested interesting to some of you guys um but yeah i need to stop talking and i gotta go and edit Bye. okay so finally finished um i really love the intro for this video so i'm gonna just go on to tiktok and uh, oops it's so zoomed out go on to tiktok pull up the uploads this is the clip that i worked on and this is it so i'm just gonna add some music do a voiceover screen record and upload it to my instagram and tag chukka and yeah so let me try to record me while i do this voiceover and see if I get nervous or not, but I hope y'all like it. I'm so drained. I had a copyright claim on my video, so I had to fix it. So now I am re-uploading the footage. Grateful for the fact that YouTube now has this reuse thing. <laughs> so I can just reuse the title, reuse the description, the tags and all of that so perfect everything's filled in from the previous one <laughs> i'm gonna add some videos in here just so you guys can watch up here you know when i tell you it's up here it's up here i'm gonna put another one like right right here another card and i'm gonna put this video or should i put the nightlife no i'm gonna put that one save and then the checks are checking when 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 it's done uploading it will do the checks so my part is done monetization on okay so we're good um yeah <laughs> bye actually not bye i uploaded remember i was telling you guys 
that I did the voiceover. So this is currently my stories. After we finished with the video, which was amazing, by the way, the visuals were breathtaking. The storytelling was beautiful. It was time for us to gather and get on the bus and head to our next activity. Our bus driver and tour guide was absolutely amazing. They shared a lot of informational insights with us about. So make sure you watch that. Who is this? Oh, another bus from my office. Make sure you watch that. Make sure you check it out. And yeah guys also check out my description box for my case to file link use my discount code 15 bacana to get 15 percent on your next order i really really like case to um i need to talk about them in one of my other videos so make sure you check them out guys make sure you check them out click the description click the link in the description box for more information on why you should get case to fly because i 100 percent feel like it's worth it and they have some really cute cases <laughs> girl Girl, the cases is casing because they're cute. Alright, bye.